Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're going to talk about do drones get attacked by birds? The answer is yes and these are the things you can do to avoid it. If you're new to this channel please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification uh, because I'm going to talk about everything I've learned about drones over the past couple of years from buying, maintenance tips, you get it. All right, hit that subscribe and let's get on with the content. So, do birds attack drones? The answer is yes, right? You've seen online all of the different types of uh, drone attacks. If you're watching this on YouTube, you've almost certainly um, seen some other drones being attacked by birds of prey, by geese, by pigeons, the lot. Um, so yeah, and I've had my fair share of um, attacks too. So it's normally when I'm flying like near um, wildlife areas. Um, a dam was my recent one. I went to an, a dam uh, nearby Adelaide and uh, yeah, it got attacked and swooped by um, uh, swallows, I think they're called. Um, and yeah, look, the first thing to do in all of these things is just land. You know, there's no need to put uh, wildlife under stress just because you want to fly your drone. Um, you know, stop, land, move somewhere else away from a nesting site, because um, ultimately these birds are only trying to protect themselves. So let's that's the first thing, I guess. Let's talk about all the reasons why dr uh, birds attack drones. So you've probably seen um, that the sorts of birds that attack drones generally online are the big ones, like the big birds of prey. That's literally because they either mistake the uh, drone as prey, or they are protecting a nesting or, or their own territory. Um, and so, yeah, it isn't always the big birds though. I've seen some geese online at a, a golf uh, thing. I think it was the, was the shot. And also the swallows that attacked my drone were actually very small. Um, and so it's, it's really, you know, I, I guess I worry about the large bird attacks just because of the potential damage that it can cause to the drone and the bird. Um, but also the small birds just because I think the blades, you know, like I've cut up my finger a couple of times catching the drone out of the air, which is probably bad practice. Um, but, you know, I worry about it doing damage to the birds. So, uh, yeah, these are, these are the reasons why they tend to attack no matter what the size is. The first one is nesting. So, um, if you go near a nest, you know, fly near trees, um, one of the most famous ones was a guy stupidly send up a drone into um, a, uh, an American eagle um, nest. American eagle, is that what you call them? Who knows? Um, but he sent it up near a nest. Now clearly they're going to become territorial. Um, the second reason I think they sort of attack is because they're hunting, right? They can actively kind of um, see your drone and be like, oh, that's a slow moving large object that I could take down. And that tends to be the sort of birds of prey and the much larger uh, birds that attack drones to essentially eat them. Um, we don't have many in Australia unless you go out sort of international parks and that sort of stuff. Um, I was reading online that, uh, yeah, in fact, there's a group that do um, surveying and they commonly get attacked by different eagles and hawks, which was interesting. So if you live in that sort of area, just be aware of the uh, local wildlife that's around. And the last reason I really think is because of mating. You know, if it's mating season, then um, you can really disrupt those sort of behaviors and uh, not only sort of impact the bird population, but also it can be terrible um, because birds want to get jiggy. <laughs> and your drone could be disrupting that, and that's why they may be attacking. So all of the things I've just talked about are things that you can disrupt with your drone. Now, I know this, is, this isn't meant to be a lecture, but you know it's probably not great for you to be flying if you know you're gonna be disrupting birds. Sometimes I send my drone up and I, and I see bird activity. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna land. I'm gonna move somewhere else or at least wait until um, a group of cockatoos or something has got out of the way. So please just land if you have to, to get away from any sort of like serious bird activity. Um, but here are a few things that I like to do before going out. Um, the first one is I make sure I'm not near any nesting sites. So this is a little a little trick is get onto like a twitching or bird watching type of website in your area and have a look for the sorts of areas that they go to and when. And so they'll quite often have like, you know, we're meeting at this time at this place. And that normally will tell you that there's going to be high bird activity. That's why they're going there. Um, 
Also, don't hesitate in reaching out to these communities and just asking about birds in your area so that you can avoid all of these places. And the first one you should avoid is uh, nesting sites. So if you interrupt birds nesting, then clearly you can have an impact on their population growth. And the last thing we want as drone operators is to go out and disrupt you know, whole populations just because we want some awesome images. So that's one way. It also just will stop your drone getting attacked. You know, like nesting sites are highly protected by birds. And, uh, you know, one bird, I guess you can deal with if you come across a nest, but multiple birds swooping your drone isn't good for them in terms of stressing them out. And it's not good for your drone as well. Watching over a thousand dollars worth of hardware crash to the ground um, is never pleasant. So just stay away from nesting areas. Another little way of making sure birds don't attack your drone is to make it stand out. Now I've seen some people say you should put reflective tape on the arms and the body just essentially to make it look as unnatural as possible. You know, birds won't attack something that looks out of place, that they're spooked by. Um, you can scare away pigeons by, you know, making new things. I think it's called neophobia, the, the, the being scared of new things birds in particular. So yeah, make sure that your, your drone, if you are having lots of, of bird attacks, make sure your drone stands out. So put reflective tape on it. Um, you can also put like sparkly things on it, but obviously make sure that doesn't interfere with the balance or the propellers or motors of the drone because, you know, you don't want to hurt, you don't wanna hurt the drone. You just want to make it stand out. So this tip is particularly good for people who find their their drones are being attacked by particularly large birds. And that is to fly pretty early in the morning. Now large birds like hawks um, and eagles tend to use currents and updrafts to get uh, altitude while they're flying. Not always the case, but essentially as the ground and the air heats up, it produces more updrafts. So they're more likely to be using those to get up into the sky. And so flying early in the morning means that you're probably gonna have less larger birds around, um, but also you're probably just gonna have less birds in general. Um, and get up and get out for golden hour, the hour just after sunrise, because that's when the best photos are taken anyway, isn't it? And just before sunset. So yeah, get out in the morning. You'll avoid the larger birds because they will they won't be using the updrafts. And uh, also you'll get the best photos. Win-win for the environment and for you. Okay, so another thing is stay away from feeding areas. So particularly large birds will go to um, places where they can sort of take down small animals, take down other small birds, uh, rodents, rabbits, that sort of stuff. And I saw a little trick online, which I thought was really good and I wanna share with you, is that you can get onto Google Earth or Google Maps and have a look to see if there are any chicken farms in the area. And if there are, then it's gonna be a hive of activity for birds that feed on those chickens. Um, and so it's a really simple check, you know, just add it to your pre-flight checklist if you're doing this professionally is get on Google Maps, have a look to see if the general area has any feed stock, um, has any sort of like small farms where there's animals like chickens. Um, and that will just make sure that you're kind of away from all of the feeding areas of large birds. Um, also, you know, for smaller birds, um, lakes, uh, ponds and other stuff, you can get onto Google Maps and just have a look at the area and be like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of water there, which means there'll be a lot of animal activity. So, you know, I just need to be on high alert. I just need to make sure that I, I know that I probably will have to land at some point if I'm causing distress to wildlife. Okay, and the last tip for avoiding your drone getting attacked really is stay away from migration and breeding areas. Uh, migration, uh, you know, happens a couple of times a year as people as birds go to uh, warmer climates. So just speak to bird lovers in your area and just work out when the large migration times are because it may be that. Uh, you can just wait a couple of weeks and the birds would have moved on. Um, with climate change, that's kind of getting pushed back. I think it's coming earlier rather than later, but the bird watchers in your area will absolutely be able to tell you when the best time is for, for bird watching, and that's when you should not be flying your drone uh, in terms of migration patterns. So yeah, check out the migration patterns.
if in doubt, land your drone and just wait a little bit, move to a different area, um, consider calling off the flight, even though I know when you spend all the time packing up, preparing, going, it just isn't worth it to piss off some birds. So go there, enjoy, um, and yeah, and fly your drone safely. Let me know in the comments what you do to stop birds attacking your drone and also go to droneflyingpro.com and check out this article because there's a lot more information about migration patterns, the sorts of things you can do. And there's also some tips and tricks that I've picked up, uh, put in as quotes from experts in this area. Completely worth your while. All right then, remember you've got this and I shall see you in the next video. Happy drone flying. Stay safe everyone.